Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna go over unit of concentration of a solution known as mole fraction. Mole fraction is the ratio of number of moles of one component to the number of moles of all the components. Let's say we have a binary solution uh, which is made up of two components, let's say component 1 and 2. And the number of moles of component 1 and component 2 are N, N1 and N2. And let's say we want to calculate the mole fraction of component N1. Then it can be written as X1 is equal to N1, which is the number of moles of component 1, divided by uh, number of moles of all components so that will be n1 plus n2 and similarly if we can find a mole fraction of component 2 so that will be x2 so it is equal to n2 which is number of moles of this component and divide it by total number of moles of all components so n1 plus n2 the sum of mole fractions of all the components in a solution in, is always going to be equal to 1. So that means x1 plus x2 is going to be equal to 1. So let's say if you calculated a mole fraction of this component, you subtract it from 1, you can get the mole fraction of second component another thing is mole fraction is independent of temperature and it is unitless so no units for mole fraction and let's say if we have a solution that is made up of many components i'm gonna say i number of components then we can write the mole fraction of first component as x1 equal to number of moles of first component divided by number of moles of all the components so that will be n1 n2 and we're gonna keep going up to n i because i said there is i number of component or it can be written as mathematically n1 divided by uh, submission ni similarly for x2 it is going to be n2 divided by n1 n2 and we're going to keep going up to n i so it is going to be equal to n2 divided by submission n i or in general we can say x i is equal to n i divided by submission n i and as the sum of all the mole fraction is going to be equal to 1 so if we have i number of component then it is going to be x1 plus x2 plus keep going let's say x i then it is going to be equal to 1. Now let's go over one example to understand the concept. How we're going to use it in numericals or in problems. So I got this problem over here. Calculate mole fraction of solute and solvent which contains 18 gram of glucose and molar mass of glucose is 180 gram per mole. And we got 90 gram of water so that's where we're going to calculate mole fraction of a glucose and water so as we know mole fraction depends on number of moles of component to the number of moles of all the component but in our case they gave us the mass so first thing is we need to convert mass into number of moles and the formula is 
the moles of a component or let's say of a solute in our case which is glucose is going to be equal to mass of solute divided by the molar mass of solute the solute is the component that is in less quantity in a solution and solvent is that that is in more like quantity in a solution okay so the moles of a solute in our case let's say and then it is going to be glucose so 18 gram divided by 180 gram per mole and when we solve it it gives me 0 0.10 mole so that's the number of moles of glucose similarly we can calculate the moles of the solvent which is water in our case is going to be equal to mass of the solvent which is 90 gram and we're going to divide it by the molar mass of the solvent the solvent is water and the molar mass of water is 18 <coughs> h2o so one uh, two times so we got two and oxygen we got 16 so 16 plus 2 gives me 18 18 gram per mole and this gives me five moles of water now we're gonna calculate mole fraction of solute and solvent let's calculate mole fraction of solute first which is water in our case sorry uh, which is glucose in our case so mole fraction of glucose is going to be equal to number of moles of glucose which is 0 0.10 divided by total or I'll say let's go back total number of moles of all components so in our case that will be number of moles of glucose plus the number of moles of water so we got 0 0.10 plus 5 so that gives me total number of moles of all component so when we solve it this gives me a mole fraction of glucose equal to 0 0.020 approximately again this these numerator is a number denominator is a number and there is no unit to this number over here that's why mole fraction is unit less similarly we can calculate mole fraction of water which is going to be um, number of moles of water which is our solvent over here and we calculated it five and we're going to divide it by number of moles of all the components so again 0 0.10 plus 5 so this gives me 5 divided by 5.10 and it comes around approximately 0 0.980 and let's say this is x1 and this is x2 and now we can check if x1 plus x2 comes out to be 1 so x1 plus x2 is equal to 0 0.020 plus 0. 980 and when we add them this gives me 1 so that means if I calculated like I don't have to calculate this way if I know mole fraction of glucose and subtract it from 1 that will give me the mole fraction of water all right that's it for mole fraction I'm gonna make more videos on just problems on mole fraction molarity and molality in my coming videos so please do share subscribe and like my videos that motivate me to make more videos thank you guys have a good day bye bye